Post office. Hi, um, I'm calling. I was I stopped by yesterday and spoke with uh, the lady behind the glass. We are down here at the John Deere um, dealership right next to the state police. And uh -huh. John, John Deere has contracted us to come in here and shoot all the woodchucks with our air rifles. And we just want to give you guys a heads up that we're down here. The state police know that we're here as well. They just said to call you guys because any emergency call would go directly to you. Okay, and what's your name? Uh, my name is Steven. Okay. All right, well, thanks for letting us know. Oh, what's a good callback number for you? Um, the area code. The following is a list of companies that we've been using since the very beginning. And now, they actually help us provide some of this content for you guys. We'd love it if you would show them some support. Perfect. Just so we're a hundred percent clear, yeah. The uh, windshields on these things are mm -hmm. very expensive, so be careful where you shoot. So you're saying, don't shoot the windshields. I'm saying, don't shoot. What if there's anything... a woodchuck behind the wheel and they're like pretending he's driving? <laughs> Do I take it then? I didn't get the rules of engagement conversation like you got with the guy, but. I I'm, got the impression he didn't want us to shoot anything, but uh, Norm, you you did bring your checkbook, right? No, but you have a pocket full of food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> How much? I don't know, probably $20, $30, enough to get us some Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> Here's that first one that old Normie made a good shot on. That looked like a headshot to me, but. Yeah, I put it, I tried to put it right in the back of his neck up into his skull. Was he looking away? Yes. Well, that's exactly uh, where you put it. Beautiful shot. It's a smaller woodchuck than I thought. He looked big to me. <laughs> I won't make a joke. <laughs> that's the. Uh, the 30 stubs, right, bun? Yeah, that's the, uh... And that's with pellets, no less, no slugs. Yeah. Could you see the pellet in flight with your eye or no? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So hopefully you'll be able to see the video. Today we're going to focus on Norm scope cam, with the exception of one other woodchuck shot, because that new Element Titan filmed so beautifully, I just can't see using another one. Well, the John Deere dealership is right over there. We hopped over to this field, just took that other shot, and not a whole lot going on no. right here, but you think we should go see some llamas? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Norm's getting ready. All right, I'm on him, bud. Yeah.
done. Off the back. Yep. Home. Oh, mine too. Flipped him right in here. Oh, he's Seventy-six yards. Oh, he's all done. So, we've been smashing him off of that roof right there, and I think the pigeons think there's something wrong with the roof because they all just landed on the silo. So. What's up, bud? Oh, he's on the phone. I'm ready. He's about to bounce. Okay. Three, two, done, <laughs> and done. <laughs> He's all done. I'm ready. Oh, done. <laughs> I saw that pellet all the way. Today I'm using my Wildcat 25 caliber. And we got the Athlon Argos on top. Painted JSB 34 grainers. In the mag. I'm ready. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Barad says that the wind's coming just a hair from the left, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to hold anything. Me either. Alright, ready? Yep. Oh, beautifully doubled. Yeah, man. Ready? Oh, oh, man. You ready? Yep. Oh, mine too. I blew him real. Blew it right off the backside. So he says that the swans are a little agitated easily. They're probably more around the base of the silo if they're there. There's one right above his head on the roof, but oh yeah, that's look at this one a bit. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be able to jump to get that one. That's probably it there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the other one's just stuck up on the roof. Mr. Monkey Man Steve. Oh, there's all, all of them up here. <laughs> Still flying out. One. Two. We're not going to show you guys all of this oh, thermal I, footage. Yeah, I, Steve's going to show. Because that's Steve's style, but... <laughs> Three. What do you think, Norm? Think Crying? Are you upset? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Four. Which guy uh, had a flashlight? Any of you guys got a flashlight in your trucks? No, I don't have a truck. That's okay. My truck's dead. It's a Ford. I found it on the road. <laughs> yep. Breaks my heart to say that because the T runs and that's 98 years old or whatever, but yeah. my new Ford, they didn't quite put the same amount of effort into it, I don't think. No, mass production, too. Yeah. He is a pretty good monkey. Is that all? Yeah, I don't want him to get I mean, if he yeah, falls, it's, just basically gonna be standing. it's hay. 
Oh yeah, you're fine. Well done. Oh, that was the one that the blood ran down and yeah. I saw it. Yeah. That was cool. <coughs> like that, huh? You guys ready for dinner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think that might be... Sweethearts. Yeah, ready for dinner. <laughs> mm. It's pretty awesome. It's so cool with you. Is that a he or she? The females. All females? There's two fixed males in here. Oh, okay. I don't have any males anymore. I got rid of them all. Hello. You looking at that, hey? Hey. <laughs> As always, we're trying to pack up. Steve's struggling with strength issues. Oh, there you go, buddy. Good job. And maybe this pigeon's dumb enough to stick around long enough. I just don't want to hit norms there. Left edge or anything? No, hold dead on. Nice! Nicely done, yeah. sir! Yeah. <laughs> the whole chip, that's the first one I've got. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around to the end. Now let's roll that beautiful slow-mo replay. Done. Done, done.